Skyrim and mods go together like mac and cheese, peanut butter and jelly, pineapple and pizza. It's just a magical combination. And after 10 years since the game's release, there are more mods for Skyrim than a Nord can shake a sword at. We even had a show dedicated to them with over 100 episodes, and I'll be sure to link that in the description if you want to watch it later. In this video, I'm going to run down just a few of Skyrim's best mods from the past decade. For more videos on Skyrim and eventually Elder Scrolls 6, make sure you're subscribed to GameSpot. Skyrim's menus are often considered clunky and too console friendly. Sky UI is a more PC friendly version of the game's user interface that makes menu navigation faster with mouse and keyboard. It stays true to the game's original style while also doing away with some of the visual clutter and adding sorting, full text search, and expanded columns of data. Sky UI also features a mod configuration menu that is used by hundreds of other mods as well, making this an essential install. So do you love restarting Skyrim, but you're sick of hearing this? Hey, you, you're finally awake. The intro to Skyrim can be pretty lengthy, especially if you've done it a dozen times. But with this mod, you can completely bypass those opening moments in Helgen. Instead, you can begin in a dungeon where you choose your race and what life you want your character to lead. It's the ultimate re-rolling tool. But if you want to learn more about how that lengthy intro was almost completely derailed by a bee, check out this video from Kurt. I'll link it in the description. And if you really love playing through that intro of Skyrim and just want to spice things up a bit, you can always opt for this mod which replaces dragons with Thomas the Tank Engine characters. Really useful dragons doesn't just replace the looks of the scaly beasts, it also swaps the dragon sounds with appropriate sounds as well. <laughs> And while Thomas tooting at you is a recipe for a good time, maybe you want your own character to be just as out of place. Crimes Against Nature is a mod that contains 12 new custom races including Dova Bear, Ikea Born, Pony, and Sanic, among others. <laughs> Now these may be two separate mods, but they basically go hand in hand, and if you love one, you'll love the other. As the names imply, these mods add new armor and weapons to the world of Skyrim without breaking the lore, balance, or overall feel of the game in order to provide a more immersive experience for players. Each item is craftable, upgradable, enchantable, and integrated into the game's quest rewards, vendors, dungeons, and more. This is another mod that aims to increase player immersion by granting the ability to hide the game's heads up display when it's no longer needed. This includes elements such as the compass and crosshair, which can also change transparency separately. Floating quest markers are only visible when the compass is, and the crosshair is only visible when using a ranged weapon or spell or when moving over an activatable item. Immersive HUD also speeds up how fast the magic, health, and stamina bars fade away once they reach 100%. In Skyrim, you are the legendary Dragonborn, and as such, you gotta look good. And there's no better way to slay, get it, slay, than to step out with a fresh haircut. With the patchy sky hair, you can rock new human, elf, and orc styles converted from Sims 2 and 3, Oblivion, and Witcher hair. In total, this mod adds over 200 new male and female styles to Skyrim. Another great customization mod is Race Menu. This adds more choices in hair color and skin tone, as well as adding a height scaler and war paint. You can paint your body, hands, and even your feet for a real head-to-toe tattoo look. Skyrim with better visuals? Who wouldn't want that? Listed as the most downloaded high resolution texture pack for Skyrim on Nexus mods, Skyrim HD adds a high res coat of paint to the game. The mod includes a normal version with some textures up to 8K and a light version up to 1K. Each version features over 600 upgradable textures and is split into towns, dungeons, landscapes, and more. Wandering around Skyrim comes with the expectation of encountering lots and lots of vegetation, so why not make all that greenery look even greener? This mod does exactly as the name says and overhauls the game's flora for a more lush and varied landscape. 
Have you ever played Skyrim and thought, man, that rope looks pretty ugly? If so, then Static Mesh Improvement is here to help you out. But it's not just for ropes. This improves over 750 meshes around Skyrim, including barrels, chains, fences, campfire rocks, and more. Labeled as the number one weather and lighting overhaul for Skyrim, this mod features retextured clouds, over 500 unique weather systems, and over 2,000 unique days, nights, sunrises, and sunsets. The goal of Climates of Tamriel is to make Skyrim's visual effects more realistic. Not crazy about Skyrim's map? Well, this mod improves the quality of the world map and even features hand-drawn roads. The map's routes and landmarks have more detail and give the player more information at a single glance. It also includes the map from the Dragonborn DLC. Perfect for all you magic lovers, this popular Skyrim mod includes 155 balanced and lore-friendly spells not included in vanilla Skyrim. On top of that, each new spell comes complete with high quality custom visuals. There are 31 per school, and each spell can be bought or looted just like the ones included already. And if you want a little realism with your Skyrim, then realistic dolls and force might be for you. This mod reduces the extra force applied to ragdolls and can also replace those ragdolls, allowing for more realistic twist and bend. Other features include arrows and magic no longer sending foes flying away, weight increase for better fall velocity, and less stiffness to limbs. Another popular mod in the animation department is New Idols. This adds custom animations to Vanilla Skyrim that include idols and poses, kill moves, dance moves, creature animations, and more. The coolest thing I've seen done with this is coupling it with a flying mod. Now come on. You can't tell me that's not cool. This New Lands mod is one of the most popular for Skyrim and even helped its creator get a job at Bungie. It adds a whole new area to explore 30 plus hours of fully voiced gameplay, 26 quests, 9 main and 17 side, 40 minutes of new music, and more. If you've done everything there is to do in Skyrim, then this mod is a solid next step. So many mods, so little time. This is just 17 out of thousands upon thousands. So keep in mind, just because a mod wasn't on this list doesn't mean it's not awesome. So hit the comment section and let me know some others that you really love. And if you loved this video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to GameSpot for more.